Jenny Ross. Let's talk about bluegrass. No. Right. Um, Iron Horse is a bluegrass band from Alabama. They're sort of a tribute band in a lot of ways. They've done covers of Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, um, Modest, Modest Mouse, Mouse, yeah, Metallica. So, and they're really cool. Uh, let's hear just a snippet of uh, how about some Stairway bluegrass style. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway to heaven When she gets So you can tell, really, they're really good musicians And I've got my lighter in the air <laughs> Of course, I like bluegrass, so But this burnt the ceiling The headliner So this is Anthony Richardson, we're calling He's the banjo player I'm oh, sorry, Alan, you corrected me earlier Banjo picker for yes. Iron Horse. And he had said he might have some trouble with his cell phone, so let's hope. Hello? That. Yeah, hi. Is this uh, Anthony? Yes, it is. Oh, well, hi, Anthony. Uh, Terry Coffee here. Hey, Terry. How you doing, bud? Uh, good, thanks. How about yourself? Doing fine, sir. Thank you. Well, I'm uh, glad we were able to get a hold of you today. Yes, thanks sir. for uh, taking some time during your lunch hour. Uh, it's no problem. I'm glad to do it. I'm here with Alan and Roy. How you doing? Alan. Hi. How you doing? And uh, we were uh, we just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes because uh, I can't remember how we stumbled across this. Oh, I remember. I, I saw in a store, I saw your Bluegrass tribute to Metallica, Fade yes, to Bluegrass Volume 2. Okay. And that just, I mean, that was just the, at first that was the oddest thing I thought I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> I, didn't you find that at the Evil Empire called Walmart? <laughs> yes, I did. I'm afraid I, and so they did have it at the Walmart. But So I bought it, and I was like, hey, this is really cool. And so I, we just had to get you guys on the show sure. and, and talk to you about this. Absolutely. Uh, I wanted to know, of course, from the sound of you, although you don't have a fiddle, uh, you don't have drums, so you, sa- you have the sound of a very traditional and the arrangements of a very traditional bluegrass band. Where did that idea come from? Okay, well, you, you are correct in the... Uh uh, and what you were saying about us being a uh, traditional bluegrass band, our, our roots are from that uh, from that type of music. As far as the, the tributes and how they came along, uh, we had a, uh, a self-produced project uh, back a few years ago called Riding Out the Storm, and we had a song on there. It's an old Marshall Tucker song, uh, Fire on the Mountain. Yeah, I love and, that song. And we, uh, one of the guys in the band uh, threw that thing out there on CD Baby on the Internet. And yeah. uh, one of the uh, talent scouts from out at CMH Records in Los Angeles uh, uh, heard this over the Internet and contacted us and asked us if we would be interested in doing a tribute to the group Metallica. Hmm. So that's kind of how it kind of all got started. And from there we went from uh, Metallica to the uh, uh, Led Zeppelin and Ozzy and Modest Mouse and some others. So that's, that's kind of the brief history of how it took place. Wow. So you started with Metallica. That is correct, yeah. That's got to be quite a challenge. What? T- tell me a little bit about the process of how you, how you listen to the, the music from another band that's doing something so radically different. And then yeah. convert that to what you guys are doing. Do you look at the sheet music, or do you listen to it, or what? What are you, what's the well, process? Well, actually, the approach that we took was uh, all of us had had heard Metallica uh, through the years, but were really never Metallica fans per se. But uh, we we basically took the uh, the track list that CMH give us, and uh, we would pack a song and sit down with guitar and uh, break the chords down and uh, the words piece by piece. And uh, then uh, once we had all that, uh, the chord progression done, we uh, Speed made up. the transformation into a rhythm or timing that would suit uh, the bluegrass version of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's kind of how it all, you know, took place uh, when we just take a song and, and, and go at it, you know. It was kind of amazing trans- transformation, to be honest with you. Uh, when we first started, uh, a couple of the songs, we thought, you know, we don't know if we're going to be able to do this. And then it's like, uh, you know, you, you take a song, and then once you uncover uh, the actual lyrics and the melody line, you realize how much genius was actually there. Once that comes 
we got really excited about it, and, and once the transformation was made, it was just, you know, it was, it was amazing how much we enjoyed that, that seeing that, you know, transformation over into something that we could relate to and a lot of other people. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, what was the what was one of those songs that was hard to uh, that 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 was hard to get transferred over? But well, one of the hardest songs for me personally, I have to say, is probably "Ride the Lightning." Uh, that was an interesting transformation because of the, uh, uh, the the way Metallica performed the song or recorded the song. It, it really didn't have any basic melody line to me, uh, and and so that was it was a real challenge for me. That it's real busy. Well, personally, I, I mean, I enjoyed all of the musicians, um, and as a guitarist, I respect the ability of your guitar player to play that fast. I understand, yeah, <laughs> um, it's amazing. But I, I, I was really impressed with the banjo and mandolin work on all of your CDs. Yeah. Um, you guys really uh, take it to that next level, I felt like, and, well, and I make it worth for saying that. Appreciate that. You know, the thing of it is, we when you make those transformations from the rock version to bluegrass, we we had to be careful and not take away the signature riffs and things that were identif- identifiable to the uh, Metallica fans, the Ozzy fans, the Death fans. You know, you have to leave that riff. Oh, let the sun beat down upon my face. Stars to fill my dreams. Identifying chord structure and, and riffs that make that song what it is. So yeah, that, that, would, that, you have to be careful about that. It'd be too easy to lose that, wouldn't it? To, to just oh, absolutely to do a standard bluegrass riff and yeah. And you know what? Uh, the thing of it is, guys. You know, we never uh, took this as a tongue-in-cheek approach to it. I mean, we were one. We were not out trying to create some comedy version of rock songs. You know, hillbilly style. That was never our intention. But right. we we always concentrated on the the, the meaning, the uh, uh, the feeling of the song. And you know, appreciating what the artist had created there, and then trying to uh, try to create something with our music that you know uh, the average listener could enjoy, and that it kind of spanned those two uh, music styles, rock and bluegrass. So that's uh, luckily that kind of worked out. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Now, now you mentioned your attitude towards it, so I have to ask because there's there's another band that's gotten some claim to fame called Hazy Dixie. Right. And I think they kind of do take it as a little more of a humorous situation. I'm not right. sure, but uh, do, you, do you know those guys? Are you bitter rivals with Hazy Dixie or anything? Yeah, you know, we've never, uh, we've never really crossed paths with those off. guys. Uh, <laughs> they had their tribute out, uh, that, uh, the ACDC version of, of their, what they did was out sometime yeah. before we, we started doing the Metallica stuff. But, uh, to be honest with you, as far as I know, we were probably the first bluegrass band to take a serious approach at, at doing these tributes, and a lot of other have come along uh, since we did the Metallica thing back a couple, three years ago. And, and when I say Metallica thing, we've actually done two of those things, uh, Fade to Bluegrass 1 and Fade to Bluegrass 2. So yeah. there's two versions out there now. Yeah, Fade to Bluegrass 2 is the one I have, and yeah. uh, it's really good. Now, you. I, you know, it's interesting. We talk about the differences between uh, Bluegrass and Led Zeppelin or Metallica or Ozzy Osbourne, but really, I was thinking that bluegrass does have a lot in common with with those musical styles and those artists because yeah. uh, you play fast, uh, you do a lot of things with chords, uh, right. you uh, it, you have a lot of very dark blue bluegrass uh, can be very dark, absolutely, and very mournful, sad songs, uh, very emotional music, <laughs> and so I feel like that you know. Maybe it translates better than you would think because it, it has does. those things in common. Because it's not it, pop. It, it really does. Uh, the Appalachian 
uh, the Appalachian uh, feel to bluegrass and some of the more modern themes that are, you know, from rock are, are very similar. Uh, the only difference being uh, the Appalachian uh, themes and things where people were just singing or dealing with the things that were happening in their era versus the rock people are dealing kind of what's going on now, you know. But mm-hmm. they are very similar as far as the darkness and, and some of the feel of the songs. You're right about that. Yeah. Now, is uh, Iron Horse touring any, or do you have any plans to tour? Uh, we, we, I think last year we played around 40 gigs. Uh, we spend most of our time in the studio, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, you know, working on these projects and, and stuff like that. And then we try to get out. Uh, like I said, we played about 40 gigs last year. Uh, we, we did a stint in France last year on, on this tribute stuff, so that was an interesting trip. I bet. Uh, yeah, I went over and played three shows there, and that was a... That was a that was a hoot out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Metallic, bluegrass, Metallica in France. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, now uh, of course your website is uh, www. Iron Blue. Um, I'm sorry, Iron Horse Bluegrass. Dot com. That's correct. And people can buy your CDs there, and you also that is correct. you put your tour dates and places there also. That's correct. You can get most any information about the band on there. There's some uh, there's an Iron Horse Music Store there. They can buy any of our CDs that we have, and uh, we'll ship those right out to you. Mm-hmm. And also some other interesting things. From time to time, we'll post some some neat stuff up there, kind of let the people know what we're doing and where we're at, and that sort of thing. So I welcome everybody to come and take a look at it. Yeah, right. that's great. Now, what? Let me ask. What's your uh, next project? Uh, we are currently working on a tribute to the Shins, and I don't know if you are familiar with them. Yeah. S-H-I-N-S. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Shins. The Shins. Yeah. We're doing a project. Also, too, we just finished a project. It was a compilation with other, some other bluegrass bands. It was a David Lee Roth tribute and Van Halen tribute. And wow, that should okay. be coming out sometime in June. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hear and, Jump. And, and David Lee Roth is actually singing on the project so that should be Uh-oh. interesting I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh man so what what the Van Halen song did you guys do Jump Animal uh, let's see we did uh, someone had to bring spot. the alcohol I guess for the session <laughs> it was uh, Jump Animal you put me on the spot I can't even remember the songs now. Jump Animal so many tri- we've done so many tributes I can't remember all the songs <laughs> you did Jump uh, didn't you Animal Jump Animal uh, no Jump we didn't do Jump oh. Animal it's too pop yeah. No. Oh well. Oh, well that's all right. Yeah. I can't remember, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Here's here's my recommendation. Do a bluegrass tribute to the Flaming Lips. Flaming Lips. Yeah. Do you know them? No, uh, I know I don't. But that's an interesting. That's an interesting name. Okay. Yeah. Well. Flaming Lips. You look them up when you get a chance and uh, give them a listen to. They're they're an alternative band. That's they do a lot of crazy things, but it's really good stuff. So. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to hear a bluegrass tribute to Flaming Lips. But there's a there's a few uh, there's a few bands around that uh, I, I'm and we're going to continue to do this stuff for CMH Records uh, as long as they'll ask us to do them. I'm sure uh, mm-hmm. they they've asked us to do several through the years, and we enjoy doing it. And have got overwhelming response. I tell you, it's amazing some of the response from the actual Metallica and Ozzy fans and Led Zeppelin fans that that. Uh, left a note on our website or, or we've seen a posting on the web somewhere how much they appreciate our take on things <laughs> you know and uh so we it's been a wild ride and we've enjoyed every minute of it all right well and we've enjoyed talking with you anthony uh thanks for taking some time out of your work day out of your lunch hour to talk to us guys it's been my pleasure and uh we hope to hear from you soon all right and anthony richardson he's the banjo player for iron horse uh, www.ironhorsebluegrass.com Well, daddy's that in this is this You tell me what you want and I tell you what you get You get away from me You get away from me